gay people don't deserve to get married. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> So, I've been gone for a while, for a long time, um, but I'm back. Hunter's here. Hi. So in the time that I've been gone, a few topics have been talked about, and really quickly I'll bullet, bullet, I'll, I'll bullet point them. Number one, phobias within the community. Um, first of all... I have entomophobia. I'm afraid of roaches. And they are really scary. And I'm afraid that they're gonna come and like cover my body in the night and I'll be covered in roaches and they'll like kill me. And I don't want that to happen. But otherwise, everything else is pretty chill. And obviously there's no reason to be afraid of gay people. Because I mean, what are they gonna do? What are they really gonna do? Hit you with um, a rainbow. A rainbow. This is obviously not my most serious moment, but I... Okay. It's a rainbow. This is a rainbow. Uh, topic number two. Queer lit and cinema and stuff. I am a theater major at the wonderful school of USC, which means that I'm involved in a lot of film things. Recently, I've been working on a project where I'm trying to make a LGBT film for the Lambda Film Festival here at USC. Um, <laughs> so what I've been doing in order to learn about how to make a movie that's good and like I don't want to make the same thing everyone else has been making, I've been watching a lot of queer cinema. I feel that one of the, um, the candy caps of queer cinema is that people usually fall on their laurels thinking about if I make this movie for gay people I have a target audience and I don't have to really worry about making it a great movie um, because I know that someone will watch it because it's about being um, part of the LGBTQIA community. Um, gay Bed and Breakfast. Horror. Yeah, like such so movies such as like the Gay Bed and Breakfast Horror, which is pretty campy, so it's pretty fun. But then there's movies like Are You Invited, Slutty Summer, Hellbent. Uh, they aren't great cinema, but they have a target audience, and because of that, they have a sort of cult follower. Three. Let's get personal. Um, Where do you second story go? Uh, I just recently moved into a house with. 13 housemates. It's a wonderful house. Um, maybe one day I'll show you them. They're really great people. And oh my God. I love them. And it's 2.46 in the morning. Pick number four, which is the one that I have to um, really get on. And that's uh, same-sex marriage, which is this week's topic. My whole view on marriage at this point is, is that I don't need the word. I don't mind getting like vloggy just so long as I get the same rights as everyone else. And besides, the main thing about marriage is, I believe that if I was going to get married, I would want to make it into a completely different ritual, because what am I supposed to wear? Like, that's the age-old question. What am I going to wear to this wedding? It's like, I don't know. I don't know. What do I wear? Do I wear a black suit? And who... A suit dress. A suit. I'll wear a suit dress. Guess who's back, 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 back again, 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 shady. Oh, I thought this is gay marriage, fine, by me. 